software install in your laptop then right click on that software go to the property then go to the compatibility uh, just click on this run this program as an administrator apply and ok so once you done this the Proteus software is successfully installed in your laptop uh, then double click on this software click on yes and this will open the Proteus software then if you want to create a new project go to the new project so uh, here you can give your project name just like i will give raspberry pi then you can give any path as you want then click on next click on create a schematic from the selected template then click on next do not create a pcb layout then click on next uh, click on create firmware project then family sele uh, from family then click on create firmware project then family then from family click on raspberry pi then click on next then click on finish button so you can find there is source code and there is schematic capture in schematic uh, in schematic capture we will design our project in source code we will paste our code that uh, we need to test so go to the first schematic then click on P and uh, I will show you one thing this is very important I will close this Raspberry Pi uh, project then right click on this project then compatibility if I do not select this run as administrator and then again try to open the project then open my project then you can find this uh, error gets uh, appear if you don't uh, open this software with administrator also when you click on the p button from the schematic you will get this error no, no library found so uh, to avoid this error you should uh, give permission uh, of administrator for this program so click on administrator apply ok then again double click on the software click on yes then op again new project then give the name of your project and path then click on next then create from your project and select raspberry pi from here then click on next uh, here you can see that there is a, a python 3 from Proteus it is using for compilation so we require a software that is compatible with python 3 click on next and finish now you can see there is source code and there is schematic uh, you can see here there is raspberry pi we need to add the dc motor uh, simulation software uh, for this project so uh, we will take l 293 d so if you want to take any component you can uh, you can click on this uh, component mode then click on p and here you can search any component that you want just like l 293 d uh, this is motor driver ic i will click on this and then you can place here after that you require again the dc motor then click on here again component mode then p then type here dc motor once you type dc motor you can find the number of dc motors come so for, from your requirement i i want to add the uh, dc motor uh, this one then click on ok then place here that dc motor then right click on this dc motor and uh, rotate clockwise then you can take that component to little bit below okay so if you want to zoom in uh, you can click on uh, click on control and scroll your mouse then uh, for dc motor we require in1 in2 signal this in1 in2 signal i have connected to 11 number pin and 30 number pin 
I will not explain why I selected 11, 11 number and 30 number because this uh, uh, this basic thing I already discussed in my one of DC motor video so you can find the logic behind the 11 and 30 number pin then uh, you require ground then if you want to uh, find the ground go to here and click on ground then you can select the ground and then connect the ground again here then uh, you require the power supply then go to here generated mode then dc power supply click on here dc power supply So uh, then uh, for l 293 d we require the 12 volt uh, supply. So we will give here 12 volt. Then uh, why I connected uh, then enable pin should be connected to the 12 volt. After that uh, one side of DC motor should be connected to out one and another side of DC motor should be connected to out two. Why out one and out two? I n one, I n two. I have already explained in my video. You can uh, please watch that video so you will get idea about this circuit diagram. Then, uh, if you want to write the program, go to the source code. Also, you can double click here, and you can provide the path of your program uh, from here. Where uh, and also there is another way you can write a program. Go to the source mode, source code then clean this then i have already written my program i will take that and paste here the complete programming explanation are available in my dc motor videos uh, video so you can find the uh, uh, importance of each and every line from the dc motor video i will paste, uh, paste that link in description also you can find that link in i button so once you paste that code here you can run this program uh, before that this is a uh, this is using python 3 so actually in simulation we do not require the print statement we will delete that print statement okay so our program is completed our hardware is completed then if you want to run this uh, simulation click on this button run button once you click on this button your dc motor started rotating in clockwise direction uh, so you so we have successfully completed our circuit simulation by using the protease software so if you like my video please subscribe my channel and uh, do not uh, forget to press the bell icon